Hi, I'm Andrew, the Young Adult and Media Librarian at North Brunswick Public Library. If you ever want to read a book, if you like reading books where you can just root for a character to get what uh, get what she wants, this is a good book to read for that purpose. You should see me in a crown by Leah Johnson. And this character has a really uh, this book has a really uh, very likable uh, main character and narrator in Liz in Lizzie. And we're introduced to Lizzie. She is. It, it, she's an African American student uh, who is from a family that's you know really start having trouble affording a lot a lot of things a lot of the things that her much wealthier classmates have, and and she and she's also and she's also a lesbian, so she's very much in although she's you know in the closet about that, so she's very much in a minority in this in this uh, wealthy school. Um, and, and so she sort of doesn't necessarily uh, have a seat at the table, as it were. She works very hard. She gets good grades. Um, she has a very noble ambitions with her life. You know, she knew, and we and we understand how important it is that she follows that she follows her the path that she's laid out for herself uh, for very noble reasons that we'll find in the book. And but in order to do that, she needs money, and she knows she goes to a school where the prom is a very big deal. So much so that she knows that the prom queen will actually get a scholarship. Um, and it, it is interesting to see about this high school, where the prom, where the prom is more important. It seems like it's more important than anything else in the school. Uh, so any, you know, and I think that. Leah Johnson, the author, does fill that out pretty, you know, it seems like a pretty inter interesting school in itself. We'll look at the, the opening passage from, uh, from this book, from chapter one. I'm clutching my tray with both hands, hoping that Beyonce grants me the strength to make it to my usual lunch table without any incidents. I shudder at the thought of a slip that douses me in ranch dressing, or a trip that lands me on the lap of one of the guys from the wrestling team, or worse, a video of that fall blowing up on Confidential and Campbell Confidential, the gossipy Twitter-esque app some senior created a few years ago that has become my worst nightmare. I'm grateful that it is a few months. All this that I'm grateful that in a few months all this will be behind me. I'll be on my way to Pennington, the best private college in the state living the life I've always dreamed about, once surrounded by people like me, in a place I fit, on track to becoming a doctor. So clear I can taste it. All I need is the email confirming that I got the scholarship and, lady, watch it, I've got a thing to do. Derek Lawson leaps into the word thing like he's prepping, like, the, the, like what he's prepping for is some big mystery as he plants himself directly in front of me. I take a step back, tray still in my death grip, and brace myself. I know what happens next, we all do. This type of public spectacle is second nature in Campbell this time of year. Before I have a chance to spare myself of the very specific torture that accompanies watching a full flash mob full of varsity athletes singing and dancing in unison, like some sort of value band, boy band, it's already happening. Derek slides across the floor with a type of drama that would make the cast of Hamilton sit up and take notes. He climbs onto the long table where his crew normally sits and points down to his girlfriend and my not so secret rival, Rachel Collins. Someone presses play on a speaker somewhere and that's when it starts, the freaking proposal. Even though this has been happening at least twice a week since the semester started, I swear one of the freshman girls at the table next to me faints from excitement when Derek begins singing a remixed and prom themed version of Time of My Life. Her friends are too distracted to even help her, help her up. Prom is Campbell County, Indiana, is like football in Texas. The only difference is we don't get our fanaticism out of our system every Friday night for months on end. 
No, in Campbell, we just hold it in 11 months and 29 days per year until one day we explode. The whole town covered in a heap of sequins and designer tuxes and enough hairspray to fuel the hidden Hindenburg. So we already get a sense of how, how, how Liz sees herself in the school as someone who doesn't want to be embarrassed. She just wants to get through her day. And you know, the problem, as I mentioned, is a very big deal. And one of the, th I think that the most important theme in this book is the idea that you don't have to sit by and be a wallflower. You can go, for, you can get what you want. Uh, you can go for it, you know, because that's you know, there's the uh, the selection of the royal court of the of the prom in the school is sort of a very complicated thing. It's it's you know basically they're running for office all the time, and uh, which I thought made a very you know, made a, a good way for uh, for drama and for it to, to happen as well. And you know, and while she's running, you know, she gets to know some of the other uh, you know, the other contestants and some like the aforementioned Rachel um, are not going to be her friends but a lot of them are nicer and she does take one very special interest in um, an, ex an eccentric new student who uh, shares a passion for music um, so yeah there's definitely a strong element of romance in this book as well uh, so anyhow yeah this you can Mark, you can put a hold on this book um, and from the library, we'd be happy to hold it for you. You can do it either online from our website, from our catalog, or you can call the library. And uh, I have to say, though, I, when I went to high school, we didn't really have promposals. Um, it was just a very different sort of thing. And uh, but it was fun. It is fun to sort of see how, at least in this fictional universe, people you know, make make such a big deal. All right. I hope you, uh, if you've if you've read this book, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on it. If you have any other books that you'd like me to discuss, please let me know. And happy reading.